This is the friendliest town in the United States, and I've been to a lot of places. And without pretension, without, I can't describe it. My name is Steve Zarati, and I'm a singer-songwriter, guitar player, harmonica player. Um, I mean, my own little, got my own little business going, cottage industry of music. Um, I'm also a street performer. There's a time-honored tradition of minstrelsy, or uh, busking as they call it in England, which is just street performance. I mean, that would include fire eating and juggling and magic and all that kind of a thing. But a big part of it is to just show people that entertainment doesn't have to happen only on a television set or a movie screen, that it can, you can be your own entertainment. If the power goes down, you can gather the family around and sing a song together. You know, it doesn't have to, um, have to be outside of you. It can be inside of you as well. Musicians are constantly trying to convey their emotions and their thoughts and and make sentences with people that are listening with them and how, how better a way to do that than to be on the street and communicating with the people walking by and and seeing you know which uh, musical phrases and which 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 language really speaks to people you know it's funny my first my first weekend in Athens my freshman year um, it was like my first Friday night out in Athens out in the town and uh, I'm walking down Court Street, headed towards the burrito buggy, and I see uh, Steve, and he's he's in a he's uh, play, he has his guitar, and there's like a crowd of people around him. I was like, I was wondering what was going on, and uh, they're all they were all singing uh, "Come Together" by the Beatles. I slept in a barn way down in Clara Pond, waiting for the morning, and I slept until the dawn with the holes in the roof and the rain coming through. Cats and the rats, there's playing peekaboo. Who should awaken but the woman of the house with a white spotted apron and a calico blouse? She began to frighten when I said boo. I said, don't be afraid, mom, it's old Johnny Doo. Yeah. Oh, my name is Rick O'Keefe, and uh, I've lived here nine years. I'm here most every weekend night during when school is on. I'm not sure where I get my inspiration from, but as far as my ability to play five, six, seven hours in a row, I definitely get it from people walking by. And, and, uh, and especially dancing. When, when people are dancing, you know you're doing something right. I'm, I may be trying to make a buck a little bit, I don't know, I mean, but that's not always the point for me. The point is much more, I love singing around campfires and when there isn't a real one, I'd rather act like there's an invisible one and we just start singing Take It Easy or, you know, um, Can't Buy Me Love or Eight Days a Week or something that everybody knows and before you know it, we're all having a good time and people are dancing and smiling and laughing. You've seen it. Actually, one of the main hazards, aside from sirens, is people saying, why aren't you playing indoors, boys? And I, I try to tell them, well, I've done that and I prefer this. The, the Athens music scene is something that I, I find is is very diverse and uh, especially for a city that, I mean, it's a college town, so obviously there's a lot of things going on and people bustling and people with lots of really great ideas. And that definitely shines through. I think the Athens music scene is very fertile and it's very encouraging. If you're somebody who can just barely play a couple of chords on the guitar, you'll find somebody else to encourage you and say, you know, come to our little jam session and, and you know, you can sit on the side and learn stuff. or come to our open mic and you know it doesn't matter if you only know three songs just get up and do it and you'll probably get some approval street street performers are 
just as much musicians as, as, any, as anyone playing in a bar or any sort of formal venue. I mean, they're all out there trying to create music and trying to, to speak to people in, a, in this, you know, kind of uh, sonar language. You know, there's different ways to influence somebody musically. I could influence them to want to go play an instrument of themselves or, you know, or learn a song they heard me play or something, just like I want to learn a song I heard somebody else play. But then there's just the idea that people could get the sense that music is participatory. Not just, you don't just watch it on your TV or listen to it on headphones, but you can engage in it. One thing I really believe is when people tell me I can't sing, you don't want to hear me sing, the truth is I do want to hear you sing whoever you are because I think if everybody is singing, nobody's judging whether anybody else is any good or not. Everybody's just singing and it's fun. the way